Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. So in today's video, we will be learning how to make this elegant method kente necklace or cape. From the pattern drafting to the cutting to the stitching to the beading, everything is included in this video. So stay tuned and enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So I got my fabric. This is kente. I use kente, but you can use any other Ankara fabric you would love to work around. So I got the kente, I ironed it up like you can see me doing here, ironing the kente wrap so that it will look nice, flattened and beautiful. And yes, you know kente comes in straps. If you've never worked around with kente before, if you've never seen kente before, it comes in straps and they are hand woven, not machine woven, they are hand woven here in Ghana in the southern part, which is that Shanti region this is our traditional fabric right there we have northern kente as well that is for the people from the north but ours is actually from the southern section which is also the ashanti so this is me dividing each of the sections into an inch so i always recommend that you find midpoints of projects like you just find midpoints so i would recommend this method you find the midpoint and then you find the other midpoint of what you found okay so you have two parts now and then you just divide the two parts into another two sets so that you can have like the perfect measurement for all the four sizes if you decide to go in for the one inch one inch one might be bigger the other might be smaller yes like there would be quite an inconsistent see in it so if you can get like the midpoints of each of the quarter like each pattern that would be best okay so i always say that midpoint is the best to start every production yes so if today is the first time seeing my video i'm irene i'm a fashion designer here in ghana kumasi to be precise so these were the straps that i had so after the straps were made took them to the machine to sew them up i folded them into two so that I could sew it. And yes, Kente truly does freeze. Kente freeze more than anything. More than any fabric. You know, kind of have this similarity with chiffon. Like they free. And we can say they are cotton. So you can't necessarily bend them to melt it up like a ganzer and chiffon. So you would have to make sure that you have finishing elegant ends. Just like working with an Ankara or cotton fabric. Right? so i folded them into two to completely seal it up to prevent every fraying at the end of the day so that is what you see me doing here sealing every fray at the end of it <coughs> so that's what you see me doing here if this is the first time seeing this channel, I hope you're enjoying this video. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it. And don't forget to comment. And yes, I have a lot of amazing tutorials. I'll be leaving the link of my playlist in the description. Kindly do check them out. And I'll be leaving my WhatsApp number. In the description as well so if you have anything i do have online classes as well from sewing classes and beading classes whatever classes you would love to go in for kindly do let me know in on my whatsapp i'll be leaving the link in the description so i got a flare cut of it and then i decided it into sections of the flare so i the cut is done and then these are the sections where I wanted the kente to be sewn on. So if you could see this, this is how it looked. Yes, I'm drafting them up. I mean, I'm joining the thoughts so that I could have an easy, breezy flow. You know, there wouldn't be any crooks or any calves. It would just be that easy and it would just flow like so. So here it was the kente that had already been sewn that I was sewing on the paper. Okay, the paper serves as a guide for you to be able to get it in shape that you want it to be. 
visa method so it means that there are a lot of spaces in between so if you decide to do it without a pipa or the help of a stable base it would be very very difficult for you to achieve it literally impossible to achieve it unless maybe you have your dimensions right but i would advise that you go in for brown pipa or any other pipa that you have available so that you can get it out and then sew them on it to make sure that things are stabilized before you proceed okay so here in this section as you can see the straps that had been worked on were being attached to the brown pipa so that is what you see me doing here i'm attaching the straps to the brown paper and yes i sew them on it and like this the two ends were sewn on because i wanted it to be on the kente family or on the brown paper family it's kente so i'm tr i'm just trying my best to go in this is how the back looks okay you can see the pattern that is forming at the back i just i'm just trying my best to make sure that it doesn't fray or it doesn't come out in any way because kente really does free when you're working with it you have to be extra extra cautious when you are doing so so here in this section you could see me sewing it on the brown paper the base that already been backed out and then joined together so you see me just following the markings that had been done so that you could get the best kept chips yes so that's what you see me doing here don't forget to like subscribe and enjoy my other playlist i will be leaving the playlist in the description kindly do check them out if you have any question you would love to ask kindly leave them in the comment section I would either reply you by text or reply you by making another video that would reply the comments if there is a need for a video to be made for you to understand or get the concept that is being presented. After everything was done, this is how I finished up. This is how it looked after the whole thing was being sewn on. This is how the front looked. So here in this section, I was separating the brown paper from the pattern that I needed. So I already had the pattern that had been done. So I was separating the brown paper from it so that I can get the nets that I needed or the necklace that i needed or the cape that i needed right so i'm just removing the brown papers from the back so that i can cut a beautiful finish so here the section is the beading section i use these bicons i use a fishing wire 0 0.25 and yes not forgetting my beading spin kindly do take a critical look at this section so i pulled up my beads i put it through the beading needle as you can see you can use any other needle that is available to you, but provided that your bicons can pass, it can pass through your bicons. If not, you would have to change it. So here I pass it through the kente from the first go. Like I always say, there is no need for me to 
cut when we're working around it. I don't need to be doing more times in it. It is not the best option. If you have enough fishing wire that you can leave them on, it is better you leave them on. So here you pass it through. And yes, as I've been explaining in my other videos, I would always advise that you would use the your hands as your gauge for the number of bicons to use. Unless you are going in for a specific number of bicons, maybe you are going through like four bicons each or maybe five or six bicons each. If not, you try to lay it down. As you can see, you pull it back, use your finger to lay it down to know where you would love where the needle has to pass. As you can see in the video, kindly take a look at this section. So you pull it back, use your hand to guide it where you would want, where it ends, not where you would want it to end. You know, where the bicons that you picked ended, so you move on like so. You pull them back, you use your finger as a guide to where it ended, you pull your needle through that section, you pull the needle up, and yes, you get what you want to get. So you put it there, you get your beads on the fishing wire, you pull it back to attach the base of the beading that you're doing, use your fingers as a guide to where it ended, Position your finger there so that you know when your pin is going to place, where, where your pin is going to pass through. Okay, so that is what you do. You get the number of bicons you would have to use. Here in this section, I wasn't using an exact bicon as in I'm using 10, 10, 10, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, 5. No, I was using the numbers based on the ones that were available. Okay, so whatever my needle picked that was what i was using i wasn't being consistent with the number of bicons i intentionally wanted it to flow like that that is why you see me doing that but if you decide to go in for the 444 555 10 10 10 throughout then you make sure that you maintain it throughout but here i wasn't going through that consistent number of bicons yes so i said you pull it, you use your needle on your bead and spin to get more, you pull it to the back, like so, you use your finger to guide where it ended so that you pull it up, and then that is what you do, okay? I hope you're enjoying this video, if you are enjoying this video, don't forget, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that as soon as I upload any other tutorial or video, you will be alerted. Okay, don't forget to do that. So like you can see, this is how the beading was achieved. Yes, you pick up your number of bicons you're working around. You use your finger as a guide to where it had to end. Yep. And then you pass your needle through that section. Okay. Yes. That is it. That is how it was done. That was how it was done. So, I'm almost done. We are almost through with the whole method necklace made with Kinte. Don't forget to stay back to enjoy how I ended the whole piece or how I ended the beading. 
I've had a lot of comment section. I have had a lot. I've had a lot of comments asking how I end my kinte or how I end my beating. So many people have asked me. So here in this section, I will be explaining how I do end my beating. Okay, so I pass this through it. Come back. And then I tie the knot. That was the first knot. I pass it through it. Okay. I pass it through it. Like that at the back of it. Like that. Just to secure it. In the best way I can. Kindly look at this video. To understand how it is done. Kindly look at the video. To understand how it is done and here everything was set everything was ready and this is how it looked after it was completed and yes i had to send it to the person and i just very grateful that she trusted me with this elegant and timeless piece this is one out of men like this is one you need you wouldn't see this anywhere you see this just on my channel. Ciao, bye. <laughs> so yes, this is how it was done. After it was done, I made some videos and then I packaged it to the client. It had to be delivered to her through DHL. She was in the US. So yep, I hope you order more.